This year marks 60 years since the Moors murders began, where five innocent children all lost their lives because of the evil acts of Myra Hindley and Ian Brady. Me and John Kilbride's brother Terry spent the afternoon visiting the graves of all five children whose lives were sadly stolen. In what could be Terry's last time visiting these graves, join us as we remember the victims of the Moors murders. The first victim was Pauline Reed. Pauline Reed. Pauline Reed was the uh, first child that was adopted. Is that right? And a friend of, well, supposedly a friend of Myra. So that's the biggest betrayal. The member of Pauline Reed died 12th of July 1963, aged 16 years old. No age, which is the same for all of all of the children. I can see you. Dancing. Yeah. I can. Did she have those new shoes on? No. New white shoes, which were quite clear yeah, when she was discovered. Then um, putting it lightly, isn't it? Sorry. Rest in peace, Pauline. Yeah. Rest in peace to Pauline Reed. First child abducted by a sickening Ian Brady and Myra Hindley. How does it make you feel coming to these places? I bet you can. Oh, it's just probably the last time. No. Oh, major room. Is that with age and health and things like that? Yeah, it is really good. Yeah. This comes from the Kilbride family, not the 12. 12, 12 apostles, apostles there. there. It's a nice. Jesus and the 12 this apostles. Looks, this looks quite new. Well, at least we'll be up there. Dancing away on a cloud somewhere. Yeah, we're with the mother and the father yeah. and that. And, yeah. and hopefully, hopefully she's met her with your mother. Having a good time. And, uh, you know, you're having a chat and a laugh. And a dance. You're having a little boogie up there, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Bless. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. 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 Especially Pete Pauly. The second victim was Terry's brother, John Kilbride. Sixty years later, you can tell that the pain is still as raw as ever. So we've got here then, we've got John. How old this child is Sheila and Patrick, obviously your mum and dad. Yeah. Missing 63, November 63, buried November 65, age 12. Not only is this the final resting place of John Kilbride, but it is also the grave of John's mother, Sheila, John's father, Patrick, and their brother. Is that with Chris? Sure, Chris. Is that your youngest, your youngest brother? Yeah. Was yeah. he? Was he? Was he um, born when John was? Yeah. Yes, he was. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you're only young though, I mean... He wouldn't remember, would he? No, he won't remember Chris. Oh, yeah, Chris. He had a brain on him when he was 15. When he's 15? Yeah. Youngest, and what a singer. Lovely boys. Is Danny not in here? No, Danny has a lovely feel. Is it? Sadly, we now have to visit Saddleworth Moor itself, as unfortunately, Keith Bennett has never been found. Please excuse the wind. Due to health and age, Terry did say that this could be the last time he ever gets up to the moors. 
and he wanted to give that one final bit of respect. So Keith Benny, mission to this day. Hopefully, hopefully in our lifetimes we can we can see oh, it. This is Leslie Ann Downey's former grave plot, but as you'll find out now, she sadly had to be moved. This is Leslie Ann Downey's grave, one of the hardest to actually film in terms of the emotion that it actually invokes. She was 10 years old, young, innocent, sweet little girl. whose life was took away by monsters. Now this grave site is a secret because unfortunately a previous, she had to be moved from a previous grave because absolute disgusting scumbags vandalized it. So this is a secret. I'm not gonna be saying the cemetery that we're in, nor the area. Rest in peace. This is Leslie Ann Downey, grave, youngest victim of the Moors murders at 10 years old. Really, it's really sad. Due to Leslie's age and circumstances of death, this was certainly one of the hardest graves for Terry to visit. The less said regards to this particular case, for me, the better. I think, le I think less is more. What do you think, Terry? It just, it just, yeah. it just breaks my heart, this one in particular. Yeah. 10 years old, pretty little girl, whole life ahead of her. Christmas time, gorgeous fair yeah. ground. Fair ground. Was that on Boxing Day, sorry? On um, Boxing Day, yeah. Child goes to a fair on Boxing Day for... 26th of December. Go on some rides and have a hot dog and some candy floss. 1964. Never goes home. Leslie Ann Downey, beloved daughter of Anne and Alan, who died on the 26th of December 1964. Again, aged only 10 years old. I have a good chat with your brother Terry and Len. You got friends, you and Terry, aren't you? Yeah, we got friends, me and your daughter, me and your brother. So, I might have a chat with him later on the phone. <laughs> and let him know I've been down. Yeah. And Leslie, okay. Yeah, but we would well, have a John and... We'd have a John and Paul and... That's nice. And that will you up there, love. God bless you. Rest in peace, good. This is truly heartbreaking, but at the same time, okay. I feel honoured yeah, sure. to be sharing this experience with John's brother. Now on to the final resting place of the final victim, Edward Evans. Got, uh, got a perfect spot there for the flowers. Yeah. Edward Evans, the final victim of the Moors murders, wipe this off the top. Yeah, yeah so Edward was the final victim. Yeah, you, and no, it's been a long while. It's been a long while since I've come, but not been well. God bless you, Edward. Died October the 6th, 1965, age only 17 years old. Final victim of the Moors murders. And he never actually went up to the Moors, did he, Edward? No. No, he was killed in the house. Well, thankfully, well, thankfully, Brady and Hindley made their biggest mistake. 
by trying to invite somebody else into the Moors murders, being David Smith. Yeah. If it hadn't been for David Smith reporting this very savage murder, the Moors murders could have gone on forever. You may never have found your brother. Found yeah, nobody would have been found. You know, thank God for David Smith. Yeah, thank God for David Smith reporting this murder because it closed it, it closed the Moors murders. Obviously, there's still Keith missing, and hopefully, he's found one day. Hopefully, he'll be found. You know, I mean, 60 years for our John. Yeah, uh, yeah, you know, come November. 60 years. 1963 to 2023. Where does that go? I don't know where it's gone. They all had life to, li to, to live and they never got the chance to do so. And that's, the, that's probably the most tragic part of it. And the story is still... You know, 17 year old, you know. The story is still in the mind of so many people. He started his life. He was only an pr apprentice, wasn't he? Yeah. Never to be forgotten, Edward Evans and, and Pauline Reed, Keith yeah. Bennett, John Cobride, and Leslie Ann Downey. Well, you'll never be forgotten, you know, family. For all the times me and you have spoken, I know that he's not forgotten by at least yeah. a few people. Put them in there, like that, yeah? Yeah. Pop them in, add a bit more colour. He's not forgotten. Put them a bit better. And we got some nice fresh flowers for Edward Evans who like the rest of the children never be forgotten rest in peace Edward yeah. rest in peace Bill. all our love thank you to Terry and the rest of the Kilbride family and rest in peace to Pauline Reed, John Kilbride Keith Bennett, Leslie Ann Downey and Edward Evans.